Hi, and welcome to another one of my whiskey reviews. Tonight is a little bit different. Recently, I attended the London Whiskey Club tasting of Loch Lomond whiskies. And in front of me are three of those whiskies that we tried uh, recently at the club evening. I got a chance to bring them back with me and review them on camera for you. And uh, tonight is gonna be a little bit different. First off, I'm gonna try each of the whiskies in three different videos. And I'm just gonna nose and taste them and tell you uh, about the whiskies. But before I do that, I'm gonna tell you a bit about the distillery. So, Loch Lomond uh, whiskies um, were originally uh, producing on the site of Loch Lomond, the north of the loch, in 1814. But due to poor record keeping, that distillery closed down a long time ago, but nobody knows quite when. However, the current Log Lomond Distillery was founded in 1964 by the former owners of the Little Mill Distillery and the first distillation was back in 1966. However, in 1984, that distillery closed and it was reopened in 1987. Grain whiskey production began in 1993 and at that time, it was the only distillery in Scotland producing both malt and grain whiskies. It's also one of only four distilleries that has a cooperage on site. In front of me I have the single grain, the 12 year old and the 1992 inch moan. This video is for the Loch Lomond 12 year old. Okay, so let's start by pouring a dram. This particular whiskey is um, 12 years old. It's uh, non-chill filtered and bottled at 46%. It's aged in three types of American oak, uh, first fill bourbon, refill and recharged. So, let's have a look at the uh, whiskey. It's um, got a nice caramel color to it, but I believe this may have some color added to it. So this may not all be natural. Let's try it on the nose. Right, so I instantly get a hint of smoke and almost uh, salty, sort of seaweed, sea air. This big, big hint of uh, caramel and toffee. That's really nice on the nose. Let's try it on the palate. Right, so smoke is the first thing I get. It's um, a big hit of uh, smoke. Then there's this pepper that builds. I wouldn't say it's too strong. It's, um, it's nice, it's warming. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. It doesn't immediately make me think I want to add water to it, which is nice. It's, um, it's not a creamy whiskey. There's um, it's quite a fresh, uh, fresh on the palate. It's got a hint of vanilla. Let's have another sip. It's quite soft. It's, um, reminds me of things like baked apples. Maybe a hint of cinnamon there. I'm loving that. 
loving that um, spicy finish and that linger of the uh, linger of the smoke. The uh, the pepper really uh, clings to the tongue. It's um, it's quite nice. It's the sort of whiskey that you might enjoy mid-evening. It's, um, it's the sort of whiskey I could possibly drink um, all night. It's, uh, it's lightly peated, it's not too, it's not too strong, it's, uh, it's quite nice. But if I was going to drink it again and again, I might add a drop of water because that, that spiciness builds. Um, or maybe just drink it a little slower. It's, um, it's, it's, uh, it's quite a refreshing uh, peated whiskey but that peat's not too strong. I get more creaminess, more caramel, toffee. Um, it's, it's got a few layers, it's... Um, it's uh, it's quite enjoyable this one, but it's uh, it's very similar uh, that peppery, bitey, spicy finish to the single grain that I tried in my last video. It's um, something that Loch Lomond seems to uh, to have uh, in a number of its range. It's. Uh, it's definitely a whiskey I'd recommend. It's um, not overly expensive for, for a 12 year. And um, yeah, if you're in, in the market for something a little bit different, uh, not too much peat, and um, something you drink without having to add much water or very little at all, give it a go. Stauncher. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like or a comment and please consider subscribing for more videos like this.